This is the 15th video in this tutorial and in the last video we left off setting some keyframes to define the outside motion of our walking cycle and we set five keyframes, three to define the stride and two that helped our model to stay on the ground. And now we're going to start developing a couple other poses and we set our first frames are set at 1, 11, 21, 31, and 41. At this point I figure that our next frame should be set at 6 and we'll just split that cycle into pieces and use a bit of math to do that. So we determine that in frame 1 the front leg would be coming down and making contact with the ground and the pose in frame 1 is actually referred to as the contact pose. In frame 6 we would create a pose that's referred to as the recoil pose and I believe in this stage of a walk cycle that this foot will be touching the ground so I'll rotate it to be touching the ground and this knee would be bending and this foot would be beginning to come up into the air or recoiling which would explain its name. So I'm going to scale this bone, give a nice bend to the knee and then just touch this foot to the ground using rotating the foot and the toes a bit. and I'll call that my recoil pose and there's further posing to be done higher on the model to help explain the center of balance better because it looks very off balance here and we'll look at that later on though because we're staying simple and sticking to the legs right now so I'll again select all of the leg bones at this point I don't see that there's any further need to pose the master bone or to raise or lower the height of the model. I think that the frames that we've already set should cover that nicely. And we'll lock this pose into the into frame number six by pressing the I key and setting a rotation scale frame. So we'll set rotation scale and copy the pose because this isn't the only frame we're going to use this pose on. And we'll go back to the start and get an idea for what that's going to look like and that's looking pretty good. So we'll go back to frame 6 and key the animation forward. Now one might think that that pose would belong on frame 16 but it isn't actually where it belongs because in frame 16 the weight is still on the leg that is now behind because that was the weight carrying the leg and the weight transference actually occurs at frame 21 when this leg contacts the ground and after the weight contact is weight shift is occurring we would go to five frames forward or frame 26 and paste the recoil pose because this is the point where the model will begin to recoil and to start the process of distributing the weight to the front and this leg would be propelling the model forward. So we'll set that pose and we'll paste flipped pose again because the legs are now reversed and this will set the recoil pose in the frame 26. We'll lock it in with an insert key rotation and scale and then go through the frame through the animation to see what we have and even just in that one simple adjustment this has shaped up the walk cycle quite a bit. The next place I believe that a pose should occur is at frame 11 and at frame 11 our foot is now falling inside of the floor and this is due to the adjustments that we made in frame 6 so we're gonna have to fine-tune frame 11 now rotate the foot, 
The heel is a little bit off the ground also, so I'm going to scale that and straighten the leg a little bit. So I'll pull that out until it touches the ground, get this foot onto the ground fully. And I'm also going to raise the other foot a little bit to make it more clearly off of the ground. So we don't want our guy to shuffle his feet. And then we'll select all of the bones again in the legs and set a keyframe rotation scale and copy the pose. We'll frame forward till frame 31 where that pose belongs a second time and we'll paste the pose flipped, the reversed pose. So we'll paste that on there and set another keyframe and then go through our animation to see what that looks like. And for the one step of our walk cycle, it's looking pretty good. The next place to look at a frame is at frame 16. And I find it very helpful to frame through them slowly, because it gives a lot more feel for what should be occurring and what might be going wrong. And I'm happy with the way the front leg is looking here, but I do notice that the rear leg is having a bit of issue. So I'm going to try to adjust that a bit. I'll rotate the foot up a bit to get it out of the floor and scale the leg bend out a bit to see if I can get it touching the ground. And the leg is completely straightened at this point to touch the ground, but that's okay. At least it's on the ground. And I'll rotate everything else to get it onto the ground because this foot should be where the weight is at. And with that pose, I'll now select all the bones again and lock in another keyframe, rotation and scale, copy the pose, and look at the next place this will belong. And I believe the next place this will belong is at frame 36. where we can see the foot is inside the ground and off the ground a bit. So we'll paste the flip pose and again set a keyframe. Rotation scale. <clears throat> and with these poses set, I believe that we've handled a fairly nice motion in the legs. And I also believe that I'm out of time, so that's it for this video, and from here we're going to start looking at the upper body, which I'm going to have to do a little bit of looking into how to get that taken care of. So until the next video, happy modeling.